So here's the beauty of doing your own videos, I guess, on YouTube. Um, I went back to my original video of pulling this off, and I went through and described which each fitting went. So now that I got this thing all cleaned up, I've labeled it. So this one here, the rear, this bottom one, goes to the rear brakes. Um, this bottom one here goes to the front on the master cylinder. This one goes to the driver's side front, like uh, to the rotor. This one goes passenger side front, so it's going to go up along the frame uh, firewall to the other side. And then this top one is um, master cylinder to the rear. So that way we don't get it all mixed up. So the tubing, when it's all bent up and stuff, don't expect it to be perfect. It's kind of, you're going to end up, once you get everything tightened down, down um, you're going to have to give these things some tweaks and stuff to, to stretch over, you know, to the fittings they're supposed to go into on the master and on the other side where the uh, brake hose is supposed to go and stuff. So just keep that in mind. my old brake lines that I had made up uh, for bleeding. Okay, I'm just going to show you what I got going on here. Old brake lines twisted up to go into the reservoir. I'm going to fill this and then we're going to bleed the master. This is an old uh, manual brake rod I'm going to use to bleed. You want to make sure you give it full throw as much as possible. This is why you do it on the bench, because on, in the car, it seems like you can't get full throw and you never get all the air out that you need to get out. All right, bled. This is why I leave all the old stuff as to, attached as possible, so we can look at this and go, Gee, how does the new one go on there? It's easy, we just look right there. Um, this is the old plate to the firewall. You can see that this gasket goes between the firewall and the plate. So it's gonna go like that. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the plate um, on, the, on the power brake booster and then sandwich this in there or put this on so it's easier to manage because basically it's just holes there and this thing's just going to want to fall out you know so all right here we go a 
by the way, this gasket was in there too. I assume that's where it goes because that's where it seems like it fits something round. The old one had this big flat plastic piece, uh, quite a bit different. So this booster is a little bit different too. It sticks out a little farther than the factory one. This was the factory drum brake booster. This one's a disc brake booster. And I think it kind of, it has more of the shape of the, uh, the Hemi brake booster. Um, but anyway, I, I could be wrong on that. It's just what it looks like to me. And then, I'm not sure if all cars have that. I kind of think it's just a charger thing. Um, basically, this guy is going to go here. So the vacuum lines that go for the, uh, the headlight doors on the charger, that's what this is for. They're going to go up here. So yeah, I think, I think this is just a charger thing, but I don't know. Could be wrong. Throw this on here. Put this on here. And that's all going to be kind of held pretty together pretty good. And I'll go ahead and put these guys on. So looking at this one, I believe that groove is going to go upward, maybe not. So this is going the opposite of that groove, could have been assembled wrong, which yeah, everything's loose, so I'm just going to put it exactly how it was from the factory. I don't think this car has ever been apart before as far as the power brake booster or anything. I think it's going to be like that. All right, typical car stuff. So I tried to put everything on here and it seemed like something just wasn't lining up. And that something is these top holes. So the bottom holes line up, but I think it's actually these slotted holes. And that hole And the thing is, this is a brand new plate that came with the power brake booster. So the studs on the booster match this plate. The plate doesn't match the car. Probably gonna guess because it's a drum brake car and I'm putting disc brakes on it. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna take a rasp to the firewall. I know, I know it's gonna drive people crazy cutting the original part of the car, but either that or I can't use this map this power brake booster and yeah I'm out of time so I need to just make this happen so I'm gonna rasp these so I can oval the holes a little bit uh, so everything fits properly
Okay, so the brake kit came with these nuts, which are 9 sixteenths on the outside. The originals are half inch. You need to have the half inch so that the socket can fit because it gets too close to this wall. So if the ninth, if you try to use the 9 sixteenths, you can't get a socket over it. So I had to reuse my original nuts. Just uh, something to look out for or to, to know. All right, got the power brake booster in. Like I said, I had to use the original nuts so they're small enough to get a socket on there. Those three are easy to get to. That one up there is a pain in the ass. But I have the steering column out of the car, which made it a lot easier. And I was able to get an open end wrench up in there to tighten that one. And you've got all the mechanism there. So I'm good to go. Just gotta put the master cylinder on now. So I had put this on. I mean, the piston kind of sticks out the back. Put this on and it pushes the piston flush. I think this is for manual brakes. Since I got power brakes, I mean, I bought this kit with the master and the power brake booster. But if I put that stuff on here, it hits the power brake booster, it won't go on. I think it has to go on without it. Um, which has got me a little bit concerned. And I don't think it should just float in there. <laughs> 